Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and we are continuing the American Heartland Tour 2020 here in Pierce, South Dakota. So stay tuned. So for once, we actually got a weird local pronunciation right before we filmed, rather than after we filmed. It looks like Pierre, but we are in Pierre, South Dakota. That's how they say it around here. It is the second smallest state capital in the country, with only 14,000 residents. And bonus points to you if you know off the top of your head, which is the smallest state capital in the United States. We're here over Memorial Day weekend. We're right across the river from Pier in another town called Fort Pier. Uh, we're right across the Missouri River, right on the banks of the Missouri River in a little town park called Fisher's Lily Park. They only have 12 sites here, but they're water and electric sites right on the banks of the river for only 15 bucks a night. Uh, we'll show you around camp a little bit. We're going to explore the entire pier area in this episode. We'll check out the town, check out the state capitol, check out some of the other amenities and things for the traveler to see while you're in pier. Also, we're going to wander up to Lake Oahe. I think I got that one right too, uh, which is the fourth largest reservoir in the country created by a dam right on the Missouri River. So let's first take a look around camp a bit. Founded in 1880, Pierre was selected as South Dakota State Capital when the territory was admitted as a state in 1889. Fort Pierre had developed earlier with a permanent settlement since about 1817 around a fur trading post. 
Development of Pier was also influenced by construction of the Rapid City Pier and Eastern Railroad, which runs east-west through the city. Pier's waterfront steamboat park and undeveloped La Framboise Island Nature Area are connected by a short causeway. La Framboise Island offers opportunities for serene natural hiking with views across the Missouri River to both the north towards Pier and toward the south in the direction of Fort Pier. Pier's downtown core is tidy, neat, and clean. A marvelous example of small town America for our American Heartland Tour 2020. The grounds of the state capitol complex are beautifully landscaped, inviting a casual stroll among the ponds and monuments established there. The Fighting Stallions Memorial on the east side of the capitol grounds is a lasting memorial to eight South Dakotans, including former Governor George Mickelson, who died in an airplane crash near Dubuque, Iowa in 1993.
We've read nothing but good things about the expansive Museum of the South Dakota State Historical Society at the South Dakota Cultural Heritage Center, but it's closed for COVID-19, so it will have to await a return visit to Pierre. The Fort Pierre Chateau National Historic Landmark marks the site that represented the interdependency between the European Americans and American Indians for nearly 25 years. Established in 1832, Fort Pierre Chateau was one of the most important fur trade forts of the Western frontier. Not only was the fort one of the largest and best equipped trading posts in the Northern Great Plains, but the trading activities at the site epitomized the commercial alliance between American Indians and European Americans. North of town by just a few miles, the areas along the Missouri River and Lake Oahe provide numerous opportunities for recreation, including world-renowned walleye fishing, swimming, boating, and camping, to name just a few. The largest earthen dam we've ever seen, nearly two miles long, has created the nation's fourth largest freshwater reservoir, Lake Oahe. Developed for flood control and irrigation, the lake has become a popular fishing destination. The hydroelectric power plant at the Oahe Dam provides electricity for much of the Northern Plains region. The Oahe Downstream State Recreation Area includes a boat launch and several campgrounds, which are packed for the Memorial Day holiday weekend during our visit. We found campgrounds one and two to be uncomfortably busy and much preferred the more laid back environment of campground three, especially its beautiful waterfront sites. All told, the three campgrounds offer hundreds of campsites with electrical service for $23 per night. So we truly hope that you've enjoyed visiting Pierce, South Dakota with us. If you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up down below. 
Also down below, you'll find the comment section where we always love to hear from you after each and every episode. Now, we air new outdoor adventure travel videos each and every Wednesday, and we will be continuing the American Heartland Tour 2020 next week in Aberdeen, South Dakota. So if you're not yet a grand adventurer, now is the perfect time. Go smash that little red subscribe button down there in the lower right corner of your screen and ring that notification bell so you never miss an episode of Grand Adventure. And we would be honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. So until next week, from Aberdeen, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.